Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. We've got hopefully something, hopefully something very special again. Um, thank you for watching the last video with uh, the JFK assassination newspaper. This one here is another part of, I guess you could say, the fishing, fishing world history. So uh, we're gonna, when we get inside, I'll let you know more about it. Stay with us. Here we go, the Hedden Museum. I was gonna wait till we got inside the building, but you gotta be able to see everything. This is where it all started. Right. We, uh, we have gotten permission to do a video on the Hedden Museum. And here behind me is where it all started. We're gonna go on in and we are going to show you some of the history. There is so much in here. I won't be able to cover all of the, uh, the museum, but there is so much and that is, that, that in, that's involved with the Hedden family. And um, you'll be surprised. I'm not gonna go over it all, because there's so much, but um, we're gonna start right here. Um, I'm gonna go through <laughs> what I know. So some of the information that I present, it may or may not be accurate, all of it. So don't catch what I say in this time. So. It starts with the Hedden Dynasty. Just gonna skim through it. I'm not gonna go over it. I'll go slow just so you can get an idea. And we'll come back over here. And if you can see that very well. I know you won't be able to read all the fine print, but. Over here, some more history. Now, this is before we actually get into the lures and the and all the, the main ingredient of the video. They did beekeeping earlier in the in their in the family history. And I think more along they did more beekeeping more before. They got into the fishing outdoors and etc. Here's one of the old Dwajak papers where it hadn't started in Dwajak. This was back in 1888. I'm sure you can't see that. And then here is one from 1900. So these newspapers are a little bit older than the. 1963 JFK assassination newspaper that I did the video on that I got now we're starting to we might dabble more start getting into the fishing and outdoors here's an old corn cob that he it was an experiment this isn't the actual corn cob because the corn cob that he actually used, um, the corn cob that he actually used as an experiment got waterlogged and sank. So they put a replica together. And here is, a, this one here is a frog that Mr. Hedden, that James Hedden had carved. Now we're starting to get more heavier into the baits. Now 
Now, I won't be able to cover the whole museum, but I'm just gonna hit on a few. <clears throat> and here's a painting that was that somebody had done. Um, he died on December 7th, 1911. And this, this painting um, had hung in Hedden's offices for, like it says, for many years. Here we got some. Here's some more. See all. I don't know if you can see. Here's some. Here's some inline spinners. Love using those. They did it. Hadn't had their own floats. Here's some more of the bass lures that they had, had done. Okay. Some signs that they did. Over here, here's the buildings. Okay. This here is the building. That's the building we are in right now. I was standing right out, right outside here um, when I just a few minutes ago, and we came in that door right there. And there's some older pictures. Jack. And there later on there was another plant in Dwajak that was across town that they started doing the rod building, the heading rod building. And my dad's grandfather had worked for in this plant here back then. And then I believe my dad's grandmother also worked there for a little bit. And then now we're gonna go, I'm gonna keep the camera on. Now we're gonna start going into uh, the rod building with the head of rods. There's, 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 there's so many more lures that I'm not gonna be able to cover in this video, so I'm just kind of skimming through it. All I can say is if you're in Dwajak, if you're in the Southwest Michigan area, and you are, a, you know, you, you enjoy fishing and outdoors, you've got to come by this, you've got to come by the museum. Here's some, some of the rides. We got some more rods up here, a few more. These are these are the fly rods. My wife did that three times. Fly rods here. There's some more there's some more lures. With the wife I have now, which I there's that. Some more more lures. There's so much that Hedden has had put out. There's some more. There's some more lot rods. More lures. Here's some private label rods. 
rods. They're all still made by head. Here's a custom built fly rod. There's a fiberglass fly rod. Over here, we got some steel casting rods. See what, the, see what the tag says here. Be very careful. Oh, they don't. I didn't know if it had anything special. Yeah, and it comes with a rod holder. And here's some bamboo casting rods. rod holders with it. There's some more bamboo casting rods. Looks like these are probably going to be for spinning rods. These are more or less what we would call spinning rods. There's some more bamboo rods. Actually, this one looks like fly for fly rods. Here we got some lure development. It shows you the development of the lure. Here we have some different pictures and ads and such. Construction of a bamboo. Con construction, excuse me. Construction of a glass rod. Here we have the head and bamboo fly rods. Here we have, starting over here, fire extinguisher. <laughs> safety first, safety first. Ten pictures, that's what I was trying to say. That picture right there, that is inside the plant next door. Um, if you remember me, the introduction of me walking to the plant, we walked past the building. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but that's inside the building that we walked past. Lures from 75 to 82 that was made. Looks like that might be for a, almost looks like a bus bait. If they had them back then, I don't know. And they also, I didn't know this, Hedden made saltwater rods. And I'm assuming he made, that Hedden also made the, the reels to go with it. 
But here's the salt water rod. Pretty much. Oh, hold on. I missed some. But here we go. Here we have some tubular fiberglass casting rods. I'm hoping for you um, fishing and outdoorsmen and women that this, you will enjoy this video and. Uh, kind of give you a little history of the Hedden legacy. And here we go into the to the reels. Some of the reels from 68 to 78. I think I have I think I have that that reel there at home. At my home. Here's spinning reels from 53 to 76. some salt water reels from 68 to 77 <laughs> here's some of the plaques that the head and fishing plaques We have a largemouth bass. Walleye. Smalley, smallmouth bass. Bluegill or sunfish. And that Mosier Boy's favorite, uh, crappie. Rainbow trout. Here's some fly reels that we have from 1924 to 78. something else that I never knew this. Um, Eden, not only was they fishing and outdoors, I didn't know this until, until today. But Eden also dabbled in to other sports. Hold on. Can you see me now? Okay. They got in golf. Some golf clubs. Heaven made golf clubs. Isn't that neat? That is neat. Not only did he did get in to golf clubs, he dabbled into Heaven. And for you music lovers, he also had the Hedden 
violin bow. Patented August 19, 1941. So how do you like that? And now there's the Hedden Aviation Company. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the, the Head and Museum. Like I said, I didn't even cover, I barely even touched the surf. I didn't even touch the surface. I barely got into the main, to the ingredients. There is so much here. Um, I, you know, I don't want to make a two hour, two hour long video, but there, like I said, if you're in Southwest Michigan, Please try to come by, and you're an outdoor enthusiast, please try to come by the Heaven Museum, and, and it, it, it's, it's amazing, the, the Heaven history that is here, and the involvement that they, that they had in the city of Dwajak's um, history as well. So, if you, like, if you like the video, you enjoyed it, the content, please go ahead and you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, go ahead and blast that like button for me. Uh, drop me a comment. Say, no, I didn't like the video. It sucked. If you liked it, drop a good comment. Or just don't leave a comment at all. You know, that's cool too. And if you will, go ahead and share it out. Share it out, you know, with, with your other fellow fishermen that you fish with. Your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle. Everybody. Anybody you want. Anybody you can think of. And um, I'm gonna go up here. I, gotta, I promised a friend over at Via Hook <laughs> that I would get him a souvenir. So, Travis, I got one for you. They don't have any t-shirts left for you, so I gotta get, I'm gonna find you a find you a lure, man. So shout out to Travis. I'll drop his link in the description below. And we'll see you. On the next one. Oh, and by the way, hold on, hold on. Remember in last week's video when I was driving, I said that I would have us try to have a surprise. Well, this is your surprise. This is the Hedden Museum. So, hope you enjoyed it, <clears throat> and we will see you on the next episode. Well, folks, there we go. That was your surprise, as I told you, in the ending back there inside the, the building. What you're seeing up here, right here, is this is the manufacturing where they made the lures. Um, there goes a there goes a um, fellow that was in the museum was chatting with for a few minutes. Um, like I said, I showed you across town is where they made the rods. You know, I had. To, couple family members that work there um, so yeah this is where the whole head and thing started and it's literally a two or three minute walk from the house I grew up in and it, it, this is another fun thing about this video is that was the yeah, living there where I live all my life and that head and building being there that was the first time that I've ever been in that building and that was that was something very special so I'm, I'm glad I got to share that with you guys so there again I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next.
episode. Later.